This tutorial is on how to change uh, the hair color on a razor with blonde hair. I just found this picture online, so just search in, like, if you have your own picture, use your own picture, but otherwise just search it in Google. It's way easier to um, change the hair color in Photoshop on someone with blonde hair than if you were to have darker hair. But you can still do it with dark hair, it's just harder. There's a couple ways that it's possible to do it. And it comes out differently like a towel one, but it's okay. First you select. It's not going to come out perfect right now, but it's okay. And you can like, use whatever tool you want, so like, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make it go into quick mask mode. Or I can select like the pieces I need for fixes. I'm not gonna do it a lot, but just a little bit. Get in those little holes. And the better the quality of the picture is, the better that uh, you'll be able to make the hair look a different color. to this icon and then key with saturation. You go to blur and then gossip blur, it makes it look a lot more real. And that's one way. There's another way to do it. This is one way. But I like this way better. It's weird. Um, you can just get by grabbing your paintbrush. Set the color. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this one look weird. Use some paint. Brush. I'm just I know it looks funny, but then it looks a little bit better after you change the mode stuff, which is what I'm going to do. This is the first time I recorded my voice because I don't really like um, how my voice sounds. And I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot. Okay. Uh, 
and it just depends on how much you want it to be shredded. Mm -hmm. And I think this one really needs a lot. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a different texture, but in some, it will make it really squishy. Because it's a lot of, um, what you generally like best with hair color is uh, color and overlay, but there's some colors that will look better in different colors. But yeah, it just depends how you like it. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial.